Hi, this is David Abonic Turtle, continuing with the focus on the CFA, and today a look at other comprehensive income. What is it? We know from the income statement that revenue minus expenses equals reported net income, what we sometimes call the bottom line on the face of the income statement. And keep in mind, this is recognized under the accrual basis. We know that increases in net income, or just the net income account itself, if positive, will increase the retained earnings on the face of the balance sheet. Now here's the key. Retained earnings is not the only component in stockholders' equity. Recall that total assets minus total liabilities equals the stockholders' or shareholders' equity. And now other comprehensive income is changes to that stockholders' equity that is not recognized on the face of the income statement. And so to show you what I mean, I've pulled filings for eBay just from yesterday, the 10K, that's the annual for fiscal year 2010, and some of the reported accounts. So from eBay's income statement, and these are all denominated in thousands, such that their net revenues for fiscal 2010 was over $9 billion. And if we get down to the bottom of the income statement, eBay reported net income of just about $1.8 billion. Now that net income, if we then go look at the balance sheet, so obviously the balance sheet has many lines to it, but I've just pulled two here. At the end of 2009, here was retained earnings, and it grew to $10.16 billion at the end of 2010, that's retained earnings, for a change or growth of $1.8 billion. So here we see that direct linkage between the income statement and the balance sheet. The positive net income of $1.8 billion grows the retained earnings account. That's a flow. This is a stock measure. Now, the retained earnings is just a component of total stockholders equity. What does that look like? Here it is at the end of 2009, growing to $15.3 billion at the end of 2010 for a growth of $1.5 billion. So here we see the role of other comprehensive income. Net income is not the only determinant of the change in stockholder equity. So if we come down here to some selected lines from the statement of stockholders equity, we can see how this works. If we think about shareholders, one thing that impacts them would be the issuance of new shares or the repurchase of stock. A lot of companies are constantly repurchasing their stock. In eBay's case, there's on balance here or net been a repurchase of about $220 million. So they issued some stock, but they repurchased $220 million more of that. For, as for dividends, that would also impact stockholder equity account. eBay has never paid a dividend, so it's zero. Finally, here is our net change in accumulated other comprehensive income. So here's the OCI. In eBay's case, that's a loss of just short of $67 million. And so now if we add these up, the net common stock issuance, dividends, and the net change in the other comprehensive income account, then we get $1.5 billion as the implied change in stockholders equity and that does match what is on the balance sheet. So to put this another way, you can see how net income was $1.8 billion. However, we want to take into account the change in other comprehensive income and again these are changes, uh, gains or losses that are not realized or not recognized, I should say, on the face of the income statement. So those contribute to the change in the stockholder's equity account. So in eBay's case, if I move over just one more screen, we can see specifically the breakdown, how eBay produced a loss of $67 million in the other comprehensive income account. So that's again a loss that contributes to stockholders' equity 
but by definition, as other comprehensive income, none of these gains or losses appear, none of these gains or losses are recognized on the income statement. And so according to the rules, there can be four types of other comprehensive income. eBay is uh, only needs to real, uh, realize or report here on three of the four. The fourth is not shown, and that would be a change in the funded status of the company's pension plan, a defined benefit, post-retirement plan. So presumably eBay does not have that. They do have the other three of the four that would constitute the other comprehensive income, and then they have the next the tax benefit associated with the with the three so we have a foreign currency translation ebay lost about 175 million this would be on translating currencies for foreign subsidiaries as it consolidates the accounts and then we have unrealized gain or losses on investments that are available for sale so here ebay gained 120 million almost an unrealized gain on certain invest investments that are available for sale. If eBay's not trading these accounts or trading these investments, it does not need to recognize the gains or losses on the income statement. Rather, it's reported here in other comprehensive income, and that's how we reconcile the change to total stockholders equity. And finally, their unrealized gain or losses on cash flow hedges. So these are derivatives used to hedge. And similarly, a company can gain or lose on certain hedge instruments. It must qualify for the hedge accounting. But if it does, those gains or losses do not need to be recognized on the income statement. They can be reported here in other comprehensive income. So those all get added up. I'll hear a loss of negative 67 million. And again, that does impact the change in total stockholders equity, but we would not know it by looking at the face of the income statement, which after all only reports to us those items that are recognized on the face of the income statement. This is David Harper, The Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.